hi everyone welcome in today's video i'm going to talk about magical a very smart tool that you can use to save a lot of time and complete your tasks like magic so first thing first what is magical magical is a chrome extension that enables you to eliminate repetitive mind numbing tasks with a single keystroke magical is an extremely powerful tool that really works like magic I will explain everything step by step so keep watching the video till the end. Magical is a Chrome extension so to install Magical go to Chrome Web Store. Link is also in the description. And then install Magical Text Expander and Autofill. To quickly access Magical make sure to pin Magical icon in your browser. To access Magical, open any website in your browser and then you just have to click on Magical icon. And a Magical panel will pop up and you see shortcuts, variables and transfer options. These are the main features of Magical that you need to learn. But before that, I want to show you something more. If you click on the home button, a new page will open up. This is called Magical Workspace. You can also open Magical Workspace directly by clicking Magical icon when you are on a new empty tab. Here you can control everything about Magical. You have all these options like select all, share, tag, delete, filter and search to better organize all your shortcuts. You will only need this when you have hundreds of shortcuts and want to manage them quickly. So back to the Magical panel. Let's understand what is shortcut and how it works. In Magical you can see there are some inbuilt shortcuts already. You can delete it from here or you can edit it with a single click. A shortcut consists of two things, a trigger and the shortcut content. Here this is the trigger and this is the shortcut content. Whenever you type the trigger it will expand into shortcut content. That's why this is also called text expander. Now before I show you different ways of how to create a shortcut, I want you to understand what you can do inside shortcut content box. A shortcut content box is very similar to MS Word editor where you can edit, write, copy and paste any text. And from here you can add formatting, links, emojis, date and time macros. Below the content box, you can see a list of predefined variables. These variables can also be added in the shortcut content box with just one click. You will learn more about variables very soon. One way to create a shortcut is to go to create shortcut button at the bottom. Click it and enter trigger name here. Let's say template one and then enter shortcut content here. You can also insert a variable from here. I have an email template so I will just copy paste that template here. Now I can personalize this template with the help of variables. Variables gets filled automatically from one of your open tabs so it saves a lot of time. To insert a variable in the template, I just need to select the text that I want to replace with the variables and select that variable from below. After making all the changes in the template, save your shortcuts from here. There is another even more practical way of creating a shortcut. If you see a new piece of text that you want to make into a shortcut, highlight it, right click, scroll down to magical and create shortcut. Tada! You have got a new shortcut you can name and start using. Now see how these shortcuts can save me a lot of time. Let's say I have seen 10 different profiles on LinkedIn as my prospects. 
and I want to send an email to all of them. All I have to do is press slash slash. This will open a drop down menu with all of my shortcuts and variables. So now I need to choose the shortcut that I want to use and then fill the variables by again pressing slash slash and navigate to the variables that I want to fill. Filling the variables is one time process. It's also called mapping and mapping is saved automatically in magical. So you don't have to fill the variables again and again. Let's use the same shortcut one more time to see the difference slash slash. Choose the same shortcut. Now just fill the name only and all other variables will be filled automatically. How quick it was. Only took a few seconds. You can repeat this step 10 times to send all 10 emails with fully customized template and all the correct details within 2 minutes. It's a huge time saver. As the name suggests, something that always varies. For example, all of your friends will have different name, surname, age, birthplace, address, job title, employer. These are all variables. Any information that changes from one person to another can be termed as variables. These are all predefined variables by other magical users. You can see all the variables for each site that you have opened in your browser tab. And they are more than enough to get you going on these websites. You don't really have to worry about adding your own variables from scratch. However, if you work on an internal site that we have never seen before, then you will have to add your own variables. The process will remain same for all the websites. So to add a new variable, navigate to variable tab, click add variables. I am on this LinkedIn page where you can see some green highlights. These are already defined variables, leave them apart. All you need to do is hover on top of these elements of the page and they will be highlighted in blue. You just click on them and then give that element a label. So this I am going to name bio, click save. And then it will save as a variable in magical that you can use. Transfer feature takes data from your open tabs and pull them into spreadsheets or forms. All you have to do is follow these simple steps. Navigate to create transfer. Then next you will be asked to select source tab. In this case I am going to pull data from LinkedIn and then push it to a spreadsheet. So in the destination, I will select a spreadsheet. Now go to destination and type slash slash in a shell. Now you have to do a one time mapping of variables that you want to pull from source tabs. Here I want to pull first name. In the next column, I want to pull company name. Next job title. And finally URL. Now in the right side panel you can see all these variables have been mapped and saved by magical. So next time if I want to fill data in this sheet I don't have to repeat the mapping step again. Now it's time to see some real magic. In the next row Press slash slash and choose the option to fill everything. You see how quick it was. No more toggling between tabs, no more copy pasting over and over again. Just use magical and see the magic. Just like you filled a spreadsheet, you can also fill out forms, databases, CRM tools as well. The process will remain the same. Slash slash map out the variables, fill the variables automatically. That's it. I hope I have covered everything well. However, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely answer your questions. And if you find value in this content, consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.